It's time to see what's coming out today for our media partner, the Baltimore Banner. Leslie Gray Streeter joining us this morning to talk about her latest column on Lady in the Lake, the new Apple TV Plus limited series based and filmed here in Baltimore based on the uh, adapted novel by Laura Littman. Good morning. Hi, how are you? We are we doing are so well. So good. Yes. Happy you're here as always, Leslie. Oh, thank, I, let me do this. I do one of these. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it's really great. I've got a chance to watch the whole series, but I recapped the first two episodes, which come on today on, like you said, on Apple TV+. Plus. Um, if you don't know, Lady in the Lake, like you said, is based on a book by Laura Lippman. It's set in 1966. It's about two women, one black, one white, whose lives intersect in a very bizarre way. And it's about, you know lies and secrets and sort of like the two Baltimores and they I mean I think mm -hmm. every city is unfortunately always segregated but Baltimore obviously like most cities at that time 1966 very much was and Maddie who is Natalie Portman's character uh comes across um the story of this missing woman who she doesn't remember she's intersected with whose name is Cleo um who is played by Moses Ingram who is from here who's a Baltimore School for the Arts graduate and um it's just it's about intrigue and lies and past that you don't want anyone to know about all the best stuff that um that happened with um with mysteries it's really good i can't wait to watch same, it same truly so what does laura Littman think about the series you know it's so funny i asked her is it hard as a writer to let your book babies go to say here's someone else here's my vision you imbue it with your vision and she said honestly it's not because you know, she's, I'm not a screenwriter. Screenwriters are really good at what they do. And she thought that the uh, screenwriting team and the uh, director and everyone just did such a wonderful job of recreating. But also they did their own thing with it. And they added some stuff and they, you know, changed some things. And she thought, you know, at first she said she saw it. She was like just kind of cataloging what the differences were between her mm. book and the movie, I mean, the show. And then she thought, you know what? I'm going to stop doing that. And she just sat back and enjoyed it. Um, and she's having a watch party uh, herself with some uh, some friends this evening, um, which is a contrast to last week. She was in New York with the big premiere with all the stars on the red carpet and the glam squad and everything. So she gets to do it Baltimore style now. Um, yeah, she's really cool. And she has such a good attitude. As a writer, I know sometimes it's hard giving other people your stuff and letting it kind of fly, mm. but she's uh, she really enjoyed it. Come on, Leslie, oh, with the I'm insider so knowledge. To hear that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you've seen the first two episodes. What did you think of them? We want to hear your thoughts. You know, I thought growing up here, and I'm older than both of you guys, but growing up here, all the things that were about Baltimore were either about crime or they were about uh, parts of Baltimore that were not where I grew up. They were not representative of all of Baltimore. I'll just say that. And I thought that this show and her book do a really good job of examining the different Baltimores. And mm. there are things like, for instance, I used in my, uh, there's a, do you know what numbers runners are? It's like uh, the guys in the 60s that were, they used like, um, it was like a legal lottery. And the people who literally, you paid to take the numbers that you were playing with the lottery over to the gangsters that were gonna like do the, the lottery. Mm. And I used that term and my editor didn't know what I was talking about. And I was like, because it's that's a term I grew up knowing about because it's a different kind of thing. And it's kind of like there are people like in Pikesville who do things that people in downtown don't know about. And it was just such a neat way of saying, here's the city that you live in. Here's the place that you live in. And you might not you might live here all your life and not know everything about it or about mm. the people that you walk by every day. And I thought the show did a really good job of of exposing those things. And sometimes we want to know and sometimes we don't but we know less than we think we do about the very place we live. And I thought it did a really good job of doing that about Baltimore. Okay, well, we're excited exactly. to see it. Yeah. Yes, you know what we're gonna be doing tonight. Thank you so much, Leslie. Thank you, ladies. And if you'd like to learn more about this story or others from the Baltimore Banner, just head to thebaltimorebanner.com.